They call this thing here good, clean, old-fashioned hate when we're talking about Georgia versus Georgia Tech. It is a rivalry game. It has not felt like a rivalry game in at least six years, and a lot of that has to do with Georgia just continues to win that game, and Georgia Tech is not really playing the same sport that Georgia is playing. And by that I mean one of these teams is playing for national championships, and one of these teams is playing for national relevancy. We don't really think of Georgia Tech as a team that is expected to win a national championship, let alone make the college football playoff, or even, dare I say, win a bloated ACC. They flirted with it to start this season when they beat Florida State, but that was before we found out that Florida State was absolute cheeks, I'm telling you. But they also looked like they were good, and then they got beat by Syracuse, and Syracuse is a good football team. But it is not a football team that we expect to win a national championship, not unlike Sir, uh, not unlike Georgia Tech. It is a program that is fighting for national relevancy, not national championships. So with that in mind, take this for what it is. The game between Georgia Tech will be played off campus for the first time since 1913 in 2025. Where will it take place? In Atlanta, where all other pseudo-Georgia home games take place at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Now, a lot of things to unpack here for me, not the least of which is asking Georgia to play at Mercedes-Benz Stadium is almost like asking them to play at Sanford. I don't know that anybody wants to play Georgia in Atlanta any more than they want to play them in Sanford. I would even say... I might actually want to play them a little bit more in Sanford rather than Atlanta because Atlanta is also where the Falcons play and this stadium where the Falcons play and Atlanta is a place that has become home to the Georgia Bulldogs in earnest. Like Ohio State went down there to play in the college football playoff. Damn near won the game, but I kept thinking the whole time, this is a home game for Georgia. This this sucks if you, are, if you are Ohio State. And it feels that way for every other SEC team they play. Because remember, the only team in the state of Georgia that plays in the SEC is Georgia. Alabama at least has to share with Auburn. Mississippi at least has to share with Ole Miss. I mean, we keep going down the line on this one, right? South Carolina and Clemson, all right, cool. That might be that might be a, a, a comp, right? South Carolina fighting for national relevancy. Clemson, national championships. I think that moving this game away from Bobby Dodd Stadium, though, is the move. You're not moving this game away from Sanford, which is why this, I think, perhaps greatest purse ever for what could be a money-in-the-bag game is is the headline for this segment and the headline for every other piece that you are going to see about this rivalry game. Georgia Tech is going to get paid $10 million to play its home game against Georgia at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And that money is not being provided by the University of Georgia. That is being provided by the folks that run the stadium. Now, is that technically a money in the bag game? Not really, because it ain't coming out of Georgia's pockets if they were to happen to lose this game. But it is kind of funny, because it would take an exorbitant amount of money for you to move a game off campus, down the street, to a place where the result is probably going to be the result, right? And if you are the athletic director at Georgia Tech, you just kind of got to let everybody know what time it is. And what time it is, is we got to pay people because we are getting into a place where the house settlement is all but done. So the NCAA is going to pay out $3 billion and then we're going to have to start revenue sharing with players. And right now, the great engineering school that is Georgia Tech might have a little bit of a problem paying people to come to Georgia Tech, especially knowing that Georgia Tech ain't that good. And anybody that could go to Georgia Tech probably could go somewhere else like Duke. Northwestern, Rice, insert smart school here that wants to play football, Stanford, right? Georgia Tech is not any, Notre Dame, it's not an easy place to play. And it is not necessarily known for having a historically great 
pedigree. Now, take it back to 1991 if you want to, and we can do that. And take it back to Paul Johnson if you want to, we can do that too. Take it to Calvin Johnson, Reggie Ball, we can do that too. But the Bulldogs are the draw in the state of Georgia. And for many people, the Bulldogs are the draw in the SEC right now. You're also talking about a place that has 50,000 people, 51-ish, that they can fit into Bobby Dodd Stadium, whereas you can fit 75,000 people into Mercedes-Benz Stadium. That part all makes sense to me. But I think more than anything else, you get this through by saying, hey, we're going to take this money because they're offering it to us, but we're also going to have the 2027 game at Bobby Dodd Stadium. And I'm going, I don't know, dog. If y'all are able to get this W, who wants to have that game at Bobby Dodd Stadium ever again? I'm sure that there are some people that would like it because they, they send checks to Georgia Tech. But I think for those of us that are neutrals here, we don't give a damn where you play this game. I mean, uh, not not you could play this game in the parking lot at Sanford, and I wouldn't give a damn, right? Like, it's it's probably going to be the outcome that we all expect it to be. And not for nothing, but it would like I would like it in, uh, nothing more than this game to have a little bit of spark. But if this is the kind of game that turns out to be one of those, like we play at like the Carrier Dome, or we play at one of these big, enormous stadiums that looks emptier by the day because, well, not enough people cared enough to go to that game, that's going to be the thing. Only way that happens is if Georgia is, is sorry in 2025. I don't see Georgia being anywhere close to sorry. So I think this is as much of a bet on what Georgia is going to be in 2025 as much as the bet ad on the Mercedes-Benz Stadium getting its flowers and trying to grow that stadium into one of the marquee stadiums in the entire world. That's the reason you pay this kind of money to Georgia Tech to get Georgia to play, okay? You were looking at Mercedes-Benz st uh, Stadium and going, wait, we got a Super Bowl coming here in the next three years. We got to figure out how to get as many people into this thing playing as much money as possible for the Super Bowl. I don't think that that's a thing you can just turn your thumb, your nose up at. When you got also on the docket here, Mercedes Benz uh, in in New Orleans is going to host the Super Bowl. Uh, we got Santa Clara out there, Levi Stadium. They gonna host the Super Bowl, although that one ain't that much fun. And it's SoFi. You know that that's the one where Stan Kroenke built to have Super Bowls. Like that's the reason it's there. As you are heading toward the Los Angeles Olympics in 2028, I think. This is a calculated play to try to juice the price of Super Bowl tickets and any other ticket that you want to sell during that year as a part of your packages to try to get more people into the stadium. I think these events that we are all going to, churches of sport, churches of music, you, you have, are paying an arm and a leg for Taylor Swift tickets because you want to be in the room for the experience. I think those things are becoming much more valuable than they've ever been. Live events one-time opportunities. These are the things that people want to pay for. As a matter of fact, it's taking a look at dating data, right? Because I think dating data is a great way of looking at what people are going to spend their money on. One of the things that people will say, I don't know how true it is because so many people stay at home watching TV, but one of the things they'll say is, I want to go on adventures. I want to have experiences. I want to go do stuff. I don't want to be a homebody watching Netflix. Apparently, that's only a thing you do after you are done going to one or two concerts because that's what that's what many people end up doing. I think that if you can turn this into an event, this Georgia Georgia Tech game, this good old fashioned hate that don't nobody seem to care about, you could succeed in making the Super Bowl that will be in Atlanta in just a few years time into one of the biggest attractions in the world that year and that is the reason you're paying 10 million dollars to Georgia Tech to host a home game. That features the, by God, Georgia Bulldogs who are probably going to win that game by 40.